how acute the, the, the issue is in Kirklees, is it, is it worse than other parts of the country or better than other parts of the country? It, 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 was there a particular issue which made you leave, put it in your local area agreement? And if so, which you did, and who, who, where did that initiative come from? Did it come from the council or from other partners? I think it was working together in partnership. Um, we, we did have an issue because we had been looking at um, numbers of new claims for incapacity benefit and they were going up. And obviously we have an issue there around being able to work and people's health. So I think we were we were particularly innovative and perhaps one of the first councils to, to be having these sorts of thoughts and maybe coming up with something that, that could deliver to try and reduce these numbers. You're, you're quite mature partnership now, as you say, you've been going for five years yeah. uh, and you, you brought in the University of Salford in the early days just to do an evaluation. Have you, have you done any evaluation since? Uh, the, the HSE actually um, carried out the evaluation of the, the project initially. Um, subsequently, we have um, had a, a, a small sub-team, if you like, carrying out some health health at work um, project and they've undertaken some, some in-house evaluation. And are there any key headlines what the evaluation has shown? I'm handing over to Stuart to answer that one. What we were looking for was um, in the longer term the links between work and health are we're looking at improving things like um, attendance, reducing sickness absence and improved productivity but we recognise that that will be quite difficult to show in a, in a fairly short term. It would take a number of years to show a real difference. So what we were looking for really was um, employer and employee attitudes and behaviour changes before and after our interventions. So what we did was carry out um, surveys within businesses that we were working with to find out about their uh, employees' current behaviours and attitudes towards their own health, as well as their, the, uh, the managers. Uh, and then following up on the period of intervention, usually about six months, we then asked them the same series of questions again to find out whether we'd made a difference. On the whole, we had made a significant difference. I mean, it seems to me from reading the material here, we've got three groups of people that you appear to be targeting, and I'm interested if I, if I understood that correctly. First of all, there were those people who were incapacitated due to circumstances at work. You've used terms like emotional well-being and recession and what have you. There are those people incapacitated due to, to matters outside of, of the work environment, and there are those kind of short-term sickness issues, which I, th I guess account for a lot of working days lost. They all throw in a sickie, shall we say. Now, have I got the right categories, and, and, and where do you think, if I have, where do you think you've had the greatest effect from this partnership, um, and, and what could we learn from that? Was there a third category, Steve? No, I, I was just breaking the, the incapacitated up into those at work and those, those, sorry, those who are incapacitated due to reasons at work, because you were talking a lot about emotional well-being. So I'm gleaning from that that you believe there's a the consequences of people moving on to incapacity benefits are down to matters at work and trying to prevent that. So that I was basically just subdividing the, those people permanently incapacitated. But we, we we have um, we have what we call health at work advisors and they work with individuals who do have work related issues i think if, if you accept that these these people in the first instance go to their gp yeah yeah um and if the gp picks up that the issue is potentially work related they can then refer into our service although we do take referrals from individuals themselves um, now if the issue is um an emotional issue at work we will provide one-to-one -one support um, to that person to try and resolve the issue and empower them to get back to work. And we've done that quite successfully with a number of clients. Um, and where possible or, or where appropriate, we will work with the, that, that client and their employer to resolve the issue. One of the things that struck me was your joint working with the Job Centre Plus and one of the things we sometimes hear is that um, working with national agencies can be quite challenging. Were there any lessons that you've learned in working with Job Centre Plus that you would want to share with other areas? 
Our local job centre plus have been fantastic and, and, and sitting just across the desk from me here. But they have been really um, fantastic. They have, if we've had a problem, um, as I said, one of our first, um, if you like, joint targets was to reduce new incapacity benefit claims. And the um, recording and monitoring systems within DWP changed midstream during our LPSA. Um, our Job Centre Plus worked heaven and earth to, to try and find a solution so that we could continue monitoring the numbers we needed to. Um, and we've worked with them subsequently on, on National Indicator 173 uh, around target setting. Um, unfortunately, we're not getting any data from the central DWP hub because of the change to employers' support allowance. Um, but we still work closely. Our Job Centre Plus has a lot of involvement as well on the worklessness agenda. Um, so they, they bring in all the links that, that we need and they need mm -hmm. around any work and health issues. Anne, do you want yeah. to add to that? Yeah, uh, can I just say that um, from Job Centre Plus's point of view, it's... Um, it's been very refreshing to work with different partners. We traditionally, within the local authority, work within the economic rege and regeneration um, department. And so I think for us as well, it has opened up um, new avenues that we've been able to explore. And it's also um, brought us into contact with employers that perhaps haven't um, used Job Centre Plus. So it has been a, a two-way two street in that we've got um, things from it as well um, as the environmental services.